All right, this is just part two of the sunscreen video that I just made. So I wanted to remind everyone that even though the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide at this current time have been deemed safe and effective sunscreens, okay, and that two are banned, and then there's another 12 that have never been proven safe. And what I find laughable is that the FDA asks for more safety data from the chemical companies. <laughs> That's like a joke. And it just really goes to show that they are in bed together because they've done nothing, nothing to stop the use of these untested, unproven chemicals, but yet they'll scream at the you know top of their lungs, don't use natural remedies because they've never been proven to work. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like this is this is the clown show. This is the clown show that is going on. Don't use something that's been used for thousands of years that people have had great success with and an unbelievable level of safety and effectiveness when used responsibly and appropriately because they could be dangerous or they just don't work, which is totally not true. Anything can be dangerous, okay? Anything, if you use them inappropriately. But you can use these chemical sunscreens that have never been proven to be safe. As a matter of fact, the studies that have been done show that there are very, very strong links to lots of disruption in human body functioning, okay? so. Where I'm going with this is even if titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are deemed safe for use as a sunscreen, this doesn't mean that when everybody starts using them, so the people that are using chemical sunscreens right now switch over to these. If everybody that uses sunscreen starts using these every day, like they're recommended to wear them every day, what will that do to the environment? What will that do to the planet? What will that do to the oceans, the water, the little critters, the little creatures? What will it do? They don't know. They don't know. My guess is it's probably gonna be bad. Probably not gonna be a great outcome because nature did not design us in a way to smear anything on our skin like that every day. It's just not, not something that is in nature's plan. Now, people might argue, well, nature doesn't have a plan. We're just humans. We're just figuring it out as we go. Well, this is the thing. Humans have survived for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years without sunscreen thousands and thousands of years. And if you look at a lot of the old texts like Ayurveda, some of the ancient Chinese texts, what have you, there's a known fact that people live to be over 100 years old. It's not even a question. All of the medical stuff that we've been told, yeah. A lot of people die in because of medical treatments and the toxic drugs that modern medicine is infamous for. Look at how they treated scarlet fever back in the day and you wonder why people died. Look at how they treated the plague. You wonder why people died. Now this is interesting. So during the plague, natural remedies were forbidden. They were banned, illegal. And they forced you to take their drugs. Forced you, forced. Sound familiar? Gotta really like look at these things. We gotta step back and be like, what the fuck is going on? And there are some stories of plague remedies in the natural healing world that were very effective. I'm kind of laughing because it's like just a sick response to the absolute evil insanity of this all. Okay, you can't trust the system. Never have, 
been able to and never will be able to. Okay, so what the system promotes is disempowerment of the people. Keep people in a state of desperateness, servitude, and they worship authority, whether it be medical authority, legal authority, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all part of the same system. You need us to tell you how to be safe, healthy, you name it, instead of empowering people to live free and without those systems, without that. Now, it's not to say that you would never need to go to a doctor. There, there are some very skilled, amazing surgeons and you know, doctors that are very capable in very small windows, very, very small areas. But as far as human health is concerned, they fail miserably, miserably. We're not unhealthy because we don't have enough of their toxic pills in our body. Okay, keep that in mind. And it's the same thing with natural medicine. I tell people, you're not unhealthy because you didn't have enough of that herb or that treatment or that remedy. Okay, so we want to be very careful that we don't align ourselves with the allopathic ideas and just run off and try to use, you know, natural remedies the same way. And that's what a lot of people do. It's what a lot of people absolutely do. And I won't work with people like that because it's pointless. If you want drugs, go take drugs. That's just what I tell people. If that's what you want, go, go, go get your drugs. But I can tell you, I work with a lot of people that have done the drug route and are now coming to me because they are desperate. The drugs don't do for them what they were doing. They've stopped working. They've now got worse damage than before. They're in way worse of shape than when they started. And they are in the pit. And they are very, very deep in the pit. And they want to get out. It's not a fun place to be. It's a very terrible place to be, actually. And I help people get healthy again. I help them regain their health. They do it. They do it for themselves. I work by helping empower people. That's why you will never see me calling myself any kind of, I don't care what I have for degrees or what I have for education or what I have for a background. That does not go in front of me. Those things have helped me to know what I want to do and what I don't want to do. And those things have helped me to have a deeper understanding of how the system works. And it's helped me to understand who I really am and what it is that I really have to offer. And I've taken the best from that education and I've applied it to what I know in my heart and my being is the right thing to do, which is to empower people to be healthy, to empower them to be able to do it themselves to empower them to make decisions for themselves about what they want to put into their body, what they want to do to their body, so on and so forth. I don't say this is, this is your only option, like here, take this pill or take this remedy or take this. No, there is a plethora of options. And really in the end, they are not going to bring you to healing unless you align your life with healing. And I've talked about that multiple times. It's aligning all of the different elements. Bring everything into alignment. So that your self-healing abilities start to really ramp up. Well, they're already ramped up. But get them to be more efficient and effective. By giving your body what it really needs. So, when it comes to making decisions that truly can affect the quality and the quantity of your life. Don't trust other people. Do your own research. Follow your gut. Use common sense. Okay? Because at the end of the day, they're not looking out for you. Okay? The system is not looking out for you. They're looking out for themselves. Signing up.